Hello friends! Welcome to the future in the year 3120. I'm so glad that you found your way to Hope Headquarters. My name is Zab and I'm one of the pros here at Hope Headquarters where we help others have hope by praying, remembering, and obeying God. You look like some happy helpers. Hey, while you're here in the future with me, you can become a pro at having hope and helping others too. We're gonna have a zapping good time. Now everyone who helps out here at Hope Headquarters gets to use some super cool gadgets that help us help others. Here, let me show you. These are my galaxy glasses. They help me flash back into the past and flash forward into the future. We'll try these out in a little while. Next, we have a special watch. This helps us do so many things here in the future. Let me see you point to your special watch just like mine. Oh, zappy day! Now here at Hope Headquarters, we have lots of robot friends. These robots look and act a lot like people. They even like to dance. But first, we need to start them up. We do that by singing the robot rock. Stand up and sing it with me. Nova, you're gonna fit right in with all of our robot friends. Oh hey, did you hear that sound coming from our special watches? That sound means we're getting a call from one of our robot friends right now. If we tap our watches, we can see the message. Everyone, tap your special watch with me and say zappy tappy. Zappy tappy! We did it! Look everyone, this is my friend R12. Everyone, welcome R12 to Hope Headquarters by waving and saying beep bop. Beep bop! Beep bop, everyone. Zap, I have a problem, and I wanted to see if you could help me solve it. I have been waiting for a long time for my parents to have a baby bot. I would really love a new brother bot or sister bot to play with, but it's just not happening. I'm worried that God is never going to give my family a new baby bot. What's a bot to do? Oh man, R12, it sounds like your hope tank is running low. You need a little P-R-O. Friends, we need to help R12. There's a story from God's Word that is sure to help R12 have hope again. To hear a story from God's Word, the Bible, first we need to turn on our listening ears. Let's turn them on together by saying click, click. Click, click. Great. Now everyone, put on your galaxy glasses with me 
and say zoo zoo. Zoo zoo! Flashing back to the Bible in five, four, three, two, one. This is Abraham. Can you say Abraham? Abraham! Abraham loved God very much. God talked to Abraham a lot, and Abraham talked to God too. One time, God told Abraham to move from the land where he was living to a new land where he didn't know anyone. Abraham could have been scared, but he remembered that God was with him and obeyed. Can you pretend to ride the camels with Abraham and his relatives to their new land? Along the way, God protected Abraham's family and gave them everything they needed. God also promised that in this new land, He would make Abraham into a great nation and give him a really big family of his own. But there was one problem. Abraham and his wife, Sarah, didn't have any kids. Abraham wondered how his family was going to grow into a big nation that God promised. So he prayed and asked God about it. God heard him and said, Don't be afraid. Look up at the sky. Count the stars if you can. Let's try to count the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there are too many to count. But God told Abraham, that's how your family will be. Too big to count. Wow, what a promise. And Abraham believed with all his heart that God would do what he said. Flash forward. Look, now Abraham is a really old man. In fact, he's 99 years old. And he and Sarah still have not had a baby. But God wanted Abraham to remember his promise. So one day, God and two angels came to talk to Abraham. They said that in one year, Sarah was going to have a baby boy. Sarah was listening nearby. When she heard this news, she laughed and said, I'm too old to have a baby. She had forgotten God's promise. But Abraham remembered all that God had done for him. He remembered how God was with him when he moved to the new land. And he remembered the promise God had made to give him a family bigger than all the stars in the sky. Remembering gave Abraham hope and made him happy because he knew that God would do good things soon. Flash forward to one year later. And sure enough, when Abraham was 100 years old, he and his wife, Sarah, finally had a baby boy named Isaac. Everyone blow a kiss to sweet baby Isaac. God promised to give Abraham a family, and God did. When Abraham didn't know how things were going to go, God gave him hope as he remembered God's goodness and all of his promises. God will give us hope, too, as we remember him. Flashtastic! God gives me hope, and he gives you hope, too. Say this after me. God gives... God gives... Me hope... Me hope... As I remember him. As I remember him. That story we just heard from God's Word will definitely help R12 with his problem, and it can help us, too. I want to play a game using our special watches to see how much you remember from our Bible story. To see our first question, everyone tap your special watch and say, Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Friends, when we flash back to Abraham's story, did we see that God gave him a baby right away or that he had to wait? He had to wait! That's right, Abraham had to wait for God to give his family a baby. As Abraham waited, he talked to God by praying, and God gave him hope that good things were coming. R12, God will give you hope as you pray. Happy Helpers, let's all pray with R12 right now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. 
Now repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Please help me. Please help me. I love you. Amen. I love you. Amen. Look, when we prayed, it put some hope in R12's hope tank. Praying will make us all pros at having hope. Okay, to see our next question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Did Abraham's wife, Sarah, remember God's promise or forget? She forgot. Yes, Sarah forgot God's promise, but Abraham remembered what God had promised and that gave him hope. God doesn't promise to give us everything we want, but he does give us so many great promises and he always keeps them. R12, God will give you hope as you remember what he has done and what he has promised to do. Happy helpers, let's give R12 some hope by telling him to remember on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three! Remember! Look! When R12 remembered, it put some hope in his hope tank. Remembering will make us all pros at having hope. But there is one more thing we all need to do. So to see our last question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Our next question says, did Abraham worry or have hope? Had hope. That's right. Abraham prayed, remembered, and obeyed God by not worrying. And we can too. As Abraham did all those things, God gave him hope. R12, God tells us not to worry, and you can obey him today by having hope that he is going to do good things for your family instead of worrying. Happy helpers, let's tell R12 to obey on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Obey! obey. Beep bop boop beep. Now I see there's hope for me. Next time my hope runs low, I'll just say P-R-O. See you later, Zap. See you later, R12. Look at that, happy helpers. God gave R12 hope as he prayed, remembered, and obeyed. God gives us hope too. Say that again after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. As I remember him. As I remember him. I'm so glad we flashed back to the Bible so that we could help our one two with this problem. Here at Hope Headquarters, we have what's called a future memory bank. That's where we send our memories to the future for the next time that we need hope. Would you like to help me send our one two's memories to the future memory bank? Yeah! Supernova! We can do that by saying what we learned today. Let's all say it together now. Just repeat after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. As I remember him. As I remember him. Happy helpers, look. We sent what we learned to the future memory bank, and now the future's looking bright. Today, we learned that God gives us hope. And hope is when we are happy, because we know that God will do good things. Let's all stand up and sing a song to show God how happy we are that he gives us hope.
Great job! Thanks for visiting me here in the future and helping out at Hope Headquarters today. As you flash back in time, remember that God gives you and me hope as we remember Him. Stop by any time and have a zappy day.